Greetings to everybody. This is the third session with the Gayatri Gaya. Today we are going to see the last part of the lesson. In the previous classes, we learned a lot of things about this lesson. That is the evolution of a human and society in the prehistoric period. What and all we studied? Information technology, Herodotus, that is the father of history. And the prehistoric culture, lower paleolithic culture, middle and the upper paleolithic culture and so on. In this part of the lesson, first of all, we are going to learn about the Middle Paleolithic culture in Tamil Nadu. Okay, Middle Paleolithic culture in Tamil Nadu. And the period between, that is, 3,85,000 to 1,72,000 years. That is, Middle Paleolithic culture is in between 3,85,000 to 1,72,000 years. Here, the tool types are changed. Understand? The tool types are changed. And they are trying to use smaller artifacts. Okay? Smaller artifacts. Artifacts means what? Tools made by the people. Small tools were used by the people. Cores, flakes, scrappers, knives, bores, level and flakes, hand axes and cleavers were used by the paper. One more time, coarse, coarse means a very big stone, okay. Flakes, flakes means a small piece of stone which is taken from this core. And scrappers, scrappers means a tools used for scrapping surfaces, scrapping surfaces. Knives, that you know very nice these types of knives, so what are the uses of knives? Cutting, slicing and so on. And borus. Borus means a tool used for boring. Okay. Cleavers. Cleavers means like water. This is a nice one. Next, level oils and flakes. Level oils is a town that is in France. So, that tools are called as what? Level oils and flakes. And the hand axes. Hand axes you know nicely. So, Cores, flakes, scrappers, knives, borers, level arms and flakes, hand axes and the cleavers were used by the paper. Compared to the previous phase, these tools are very, very small in size. Okay, paper were willing to use small tools. So in some parts of Tamil Nadu, we can see the evidences for the Middle Paleolithic culture. Middle Paleolithic culture evidences we can see in some parts of Tamil Nadu. In southern parts of Tamil Nadu, particularly T. Pudupati, it is in Madurai. And another one area that is Sivara Kotai. Sivara Kotai, that is Chavu and Ariyalu also Middle Paleolithic tools were found. Near Tanjavu and Ariyalu also we can find Middle Paleolithic tools. Next one is Mesolithic culture in Tamil Nadu. What's the next one? Mesolithic culture in Tamil Nadu. There is no proper evidence for the upper Paleolithic culture in Tamil Nadu. No evidence was present in Tamil Nadu about what upper Paleolithic culture. And But the people, those who lived in those days used microliths. Microliths means what? Small stones. So the people, those who lived in those period, they were using what? Microliths. Microliths means what? Small stone tools. Small stone tools are called as what? Microliths. This period is in between Paleolithic and Neolithic culture. Okay. This period is in between Paleolithic and Neolithic culture. So it is known as Mesolithic culture. Mesolithic culture or Middle Stone Age. Mesolithic culture or Middle Stone Age. For the Mesolithic culture, lot of evidences were there. Okay. Lot of evidences were there. We can find the evidences in Chennai. North Arcot, Salem, Coimbatore, Ariyalur, Trichrapalli, Pudukkotai, Madurai, Sivagangai, Tirunalveli and our district Kanyakumari. Okay, you can refer the picture. You can find out all these places in the map of Tamil Nadu. Here, next one is Teri region. Teri region near Tutugudi. 
Hairy region here, tooth body. So, here microlithic artifacts are present. Here we can see red sand dunes. Red sand dunes. These red sand dunes regions are called theories. So, red sand dunes regions are called what? Theories. In this period, people used small artifacts. Artifacts means, you know, made of chert and quartz. Okay, well, made of chert and quartz. Chert, C-H-E-R-T. That is variety of rock, particularly sedimentary rocks. Okay, sedimentary rocks. These rocks are different the colors, red color, green color, white color. You can prefer the picture. They used scrappers and lunettes. Lunettes means a crescent shaped tools. Okay, scrappers you know, understand? Scrappers you know. And they are using triangle shaped tools. And they were using triangle shaped tools. So, one more time, they used scrappers, lunatus, lunatus means what? The crescent shaped tools. And triangle shaped tools also. These people hunted wild animals and they collected fruits, nuts, and Roots also, okay. So they were eating the flesh or meat of the animals and they collected what the fruits, nuts, and roots that is plant foods. Next one is a Neolithic culture of Tamil Nadu. Neolithic culture of Tamil Nadu. This is also known as the New Stone Age. Neolithic means a New Stone Age. People domesticated animals and cultivated crops. Okay, animals were there and the people started to cultivate the crops also. Used polished stone axes called the cells. Cells, C-E-L-T-S. Cells means polished stone axes. Polished stone axes. Their main occupation was cattle rearing. Okay. Cattle rearing was their main occupation. They lived in very small villages. Very small. That is tiny we can say. And the houses were made of thatched roof. Houses were made of a thatched roof and their walls were plastered with a clay. Their walls were plastered with a clay. Clay they were using and plastered their walls. We found the evidence at Payyampalli. Payyampalli is a place in Vellur district. Okay, Vellur district. And many important places were there in Dharmaburi district also. That means we can found the evidence in Dharmaburi district also. Payyampalli is a village in Vellur district in Tamil Nadu. This one I said already. And this region was excavated by Archaeological Survey of India. Archaeological Survey of India. That is ASI abbreviation. Archaeological Survey of India. Evidence for pottery making and the cultivation of a horse gram and green gram has been found here. Okay. So, pot making was there. That was their occupation. And their important food items. That is horse gram and green gram. Next, we will see Iron Age. That is Megalithic period. Iron Age is Megalithic period. The culture period after this Neolithic period is called this Iron Age. Okay. Cultural period after the Neolithic period is called the Iron Age. People were using iron technology. Here they were giving importance to what? Iron technology. During this Iron Age, people lived in many parts of our Tamil Nadu. Okay. Exchange relationship. Exchange relationship was developed among the people. People know metallurgy. Metallurgy means metal extracted from ores. Metal extracted from ores. And pottery making. So people know metallurgy and pottery making. And they used iron and bronze objects. Iron and bronze objects were used by the people. And they used gold ornaments also. They used gold ornaments also. They used shell ornaments and beds made of cornelian and quartz. Beds made of cornelian and quartz. You can refer the picture for this. And we found the evidence in Adichanallur. Adichanallur. Where is Adichanallur? Do you know? It is in Tuthukudi district. So, then it is in Tuthukudi district. And another one area that is known as Sanur. Sanur is near 
மதுராந்தகம் அண்ட் சித்தர் நவாசல் நேயர் புதுக்கோட்டை ஓகே சோ ஆதிச்சநல்லூர் சானூர் அண்ட் சித்தர் நவாசல் நெக்ஸ்ட் வி வில் சி மெகாலிதிக் பரியல் டைப்ஸ் வாட்ஸ் தி டைட்டில் மெகாலிதிக் பரியல் டைப்ஸ் தி ஹோல் ஸ்டேட் ஆஃப் अवर தமிழ்நாடு வி கேன் சி மெகாலிதிக் பரியல் சைட்ஸ் ஓகே ஹோல் ஸ்டேட் ஆஃப் अवर தமிழ்நாடு வி கேன் சி மெகாலிதிக் பரியல் சைட்ஸ் people created burials with a lot of stone for dead people okay they used a lot of stones for dead people so paper created burials with a lot of stones for dead people within the burials the bones of the dead persons were placed okay within the burials the bones of the dead persons were placed with the grave goods okay grave goods also there example iron objects cornelian beads and bronze objects but some of the burials do not have human bones okay do not have human bones they have only grave goods they have only grave goods and they are called the memorial burials what's the name of that memorial burials the sangam literature mentions various burial practices of the people okay sangam literature mentions various burial practices of the people the megalithic burials are classified in the six okay how many six megalithic burials are classified in the six the first one is dolmens second one is cis c i s t s third means men here m e n h i r fourth one is rock cut caves okay fifth one is urn burials u r n urn burials sixth one is sarcophagus sarcophagus s a r c o sarcophagus p h a g u s here first one dolmens dolmen means single chamber tomb okay single chamber tomb second one cist c i s t s cist means tombs with stone slabs tombs with stone slabs third one is men here m e n h r tall upright stone okay tall upright stone is known as what men here and the fourth one it is easy to understand rock cut caves very big rock is there they are cutting shape shaping and changing the shape of that one and it is creating like caves at the bones of the dead bodies they are keeping inside so rock cut caves and fifth one is urn u r n urn burial that is a pottery vessel used to for keeping this bones okay next the last one is a sarcophagus that is known as a stone coffin coffin made of a stone is known as what a sarcophagus the burial types of kerala is also there totally three first one is kodakkal kodakkal is a malayalam word in tamil it is known as kudaikkal okay kodaikkal that is umbrella shaped stone next one is topical topi is a tamil word the set of is a tamil word that is a hat the stones we are keeping hat to you know during rainy season next one is a patikal patikal means a hood stone hood stone that we can see in a movie that named alpha alpha movie we can see that in style and the men kids are erected for the heroes in the iron age okay men kids i told that is a tall up right stone that is erected for the heroes in the iron age next one agriculture and the pastoralism agriculture and the pastoralism people in the iron age practiced agriculture they domesticated cattle and sheep okay they domesticated cattle and sheep millets and rice were cultivated so from this what we can understand that millets and rice that they, they are food okay they are food millets and rice irrigation management is developed very nicely they were giving much importance for which one irrigation many megalithic sites were also found near by the rivers and tanks 
tanks. Nearby rivers and tanks because of the water facility, different sets of people were willing to live nearby these rivers as well as tanks. In the deltoic regions, irrigation technology had developed. Okay, deltoic regions, irrigation technology had developed. Evidence of rhyme stays seen in Adi Chanalur. Okay, Adi Chanalur that is in Tutukudi district. And another one place is also there that is Purundal near Padani. Purundal P O R U N T H I C A L. Purundal near Padani. The Iron Age society had farming communities, pastoralists, and hunters and gatherers. Okay, Iron Age society had farming communities, pastoralists, hunters, and gatherers. Professionals were also there. Professional likes craft specialist, potters, and the blacksmiths. Understand the blacksmiths. Pottery is an important evidence. Pottery means what they are making pots or pot making. So, pottery is an important evidence. The Iron Age people and the Sangam Age people used black and red colors. Iron Age people as well as Sangam Age people used black and red color to make pots. The black ware and red ware pottery has black color inside and red color outside. Okay, black color inside and red color outside. But the surface is lustrous. Lustrous is the spelling lustrous. L U S T R O U S. Lustrous means like shining appearance. Okay, so the surface is lustrous. That is a like shining appearance. The last heading, iron technology and metal tools. What is that? Iron technology and metal tools. In the megalithic burials, much objects were placed in the burials. Okay. Much objects were placed in the burials. And different weapons were used by the people. That is also found. First one, sword. Second one, dagger. Third one, axe. Fourth one, chisel. Fifth one, lance. And the last one is is a tripod stands. Understand the tripod stands. What are they? Sword, dagger, axes, chisel, lamps, and tripod stands. You can refer the picture for all this. The iron tools were used for agriculture, hunting, gathering, and battles. Okay. What are the uses of the tools for agriculture? Hunting and gathering and in battle also. Bronze vessels are discovered and these vessels are decorated with the picture of animals and birds. And bronze mirrors and bells are also found. Bronze bells and mirrors are also found. That's all. We have come to the end. Take the books. We will mark the best answers. Rule number one. Choose the correct answer. Question number one. Dash is genetically closest to humans. Answer B. Chimpanzee. Option B. Chimpanzee. Question number two. The period called dash marks the beginning of agriculture and animal domestication. Answer C. Neolithic. C. Neolithic. Question number three. Direct ancestor of modern man was Dash. Answer C. Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens. Verse number 4. Dash refers to the area covering Egypt, Israel, Palestine and Iraq. Answer B. Fertile Crescent. Fertile Crescent. Verse number 5. Sir Robert Bruce Ford, a geologist from England. First discovered the dash tools at the Pallavaram near Chennai. Answer B. Paleolithic. B. Paleolithic. Question number 6. Answer C. Answer C. Question number 7. Answer A. A. Question number 8. Assertion and reason. Answer D. Answer D. Next, Roman number 2, fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. Question number 1. Hand axes and cleavers are the important tool types of dash culture. 
that structure lower paleolithic see the spelling l o w e r lower paleolithic next word p a l e o l i t h i c lower paleolithic question number 2 the methods and techniques involved in the production of stone tools are called dash technology lithic technology l i t h i c c lithic lithic technology question number 3 dash is known as the middle stone age as it is placed between the paleolithic and the neolithic mesolithic in the dash you have to write what mesolithic m e s o l i t h i c c roman number 3 find out the correct statement find out the correct statement that is a correct answer a is the correct statement that is the concept of survival of the fittest contributed to the scientific understanding of human knowledge take next page page number 14 second question b is the correct statement b is the correct statement that is the ancestors to humans were called the hominids and their origins have been traced to africa Roman number 4 match the following first one paleoanthropology paleoanthropology come to the right side the answer is last one the study of human ancestors study of human ancestors question number 2 hand axe tools answer is achulian achulian see the right side third word achulian question number 3 image on stone and board answer venus venus question number 4 red sand dunes answer the first word theris theris question number 5 stone artifacts of small size answer microliths microliths come to the right side first word theris 4 venus 3 achurian 2 microliths 5 study of human ancestors 1 now we will mark this uh, short answers question number 1 is in page number 2 question number 2 is in page number 12 question number 3 is in page number 10 and question number 4 is in page number 4 okay now take page number 2 page number 2 see under the heading age of speculation age of speculation come to the seventh line come to the seventh line humans became conscious from their mark human h capital letter on the make capital letter and the ending is they developed their own understanding they developed their own understanding okay next question that is question number 2 answer is in page number 12 answer is in page number 12 that is see the heading recap recap the heading under that come the fourth paragraph fourth paragraph second line middle second line middle the agricultural revolution led to many changes humans lived in permanent houses made of pottery and with the surplus production they developed the various crafts okay next question number 3 answer is in page number 10 answer is in page number 10 C under the heading megalithic burial types. Megalithic burial types. Come to the second line. People created P capital R. People created burials with the large stones. Up to see the last line. First word goats. That is bones, and we have only the grave goats. Only the grave goats. Last question. That is question number four. Answer is also page number four. Page number four. See under the heading lower Paleolithic culture. Lower Paleolithic culture. Come to the eighth line middle. Eighth line middle. They made various tools such as hand axes and cleavers to meet their subsistence needs. These tools are also known as bifaces. Bifaces. Again, come to last two sentences. Last two sentences of the same paragraph. The hand axe tools are also known as Acheulean. This tool making tradition continued till two lakh fifty thousand years to sixty 
thousand years ago in India. Come to that. Now, problem number six. Huh? One. First of all, we will see verse number one. That is nine, eleven, twelve pages. Take page number nine. See under the heading Iron Age Megalithic Period. In that page, last paragraph. Last paragraph means the people of this age had knowledge of metallurgy and pottery making. They used iron and bronze objects and gold ornaments. Take page 11. Take page 11. See under the heading Agriculture and Pastoralism. Agriculture and Pastoralism. From the beginning, the people in the Iron Age practiced agriculture. Next, come to the fourth line. Millions of rice were cultivated. Irrigation management developed in this period since many of the megalithic sites are found near by rivers and tanks. In the deltoic regions, irrigation as a technology got developed. Okay. And one more heading is there. Same page. Come under the heading pottery. Pottery. And in that pottery heading, second line middle. Second line middle. The Iron Age and Sangam Age from there up to the end of the paragraph. End of the paragraph that is with lustrous surfaces. With lustrous surfaces. Now question number 2. Question number 2 is in page number 1. Page number 1. Take page number 1. Under the heading Origin of the Earth and Geological Ages. That paragraph fully. First paragraph fully. And come to the next paragraph. First four lines. That is first sentence alone. First sentence alone. That is from the beginning. Paleo, Andhra, Forages. Up to fourth line. First word ancestors. Ancestors. Next paragraph. We'll leave the next two paragraphs and come down. That is the paragraph is starting like this. The earth was formed approximately. From there you have to start. And the ending is evolution of humans. Evolution of humans. Okay, children. Lesson 1 over. Study all question answers. Work hard, children. I hope you will prepare very well. We will meet in the next session with new lesson. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.